Hello and welcome back to The Note. And it's not exactly time for panic, but it is time to get just a little concerned. This, as you can see, is what uh, world stocks have been doing. And today has been the worst day since uh, we hit bottom back in February. The S&P 500 here in the States was down just over 1%. Stocks in the rest of the world, particularly in Europe, did somewhat worse than that. Uh, and if you want to build a case that we are heading into yet a third big wave of risk off sentiment, there are quite a number of other indicators out there to support you. Perhaps most importantly, let's take a look at bank stocks. Banks tend to be the necessary leaders of stock market rallies. It's difficult for markets to go forward strongly if financials are weak. As you can see here, we're looking at the KBW index of large US banks, the FTSE Euro first index of large European banks, plus Deutsche Bank, which as you remember was very much at the heart of the scare we had back in February. And you can see that in all cases, they are turning distinctly back downwards again at present. That is plainly a sign that some concern is back out there about growth. If you want another classic sign of concern, take a look at the yen. The yen is regarded as a safe haven. It tends to strengthen when people are nervous and people look for the safety of Japan. And as you can see, it's now at its strongest level in almost 18 months, at the kind of level where it might provoke a response from the government and from the central bank. This may be too strong for Japanese comfort, uh, and it's certainly too strong for the Japanese stock market's comfort. The, uh, the uh, Japanese stock market had a bad day today. Now, there are other measures I could have thrown in. Bond yields are falling. The uh, shape of the yield curve, we're seeing a flattening of the yield curve, uh, another worrying sign. And the oil price uh, had a very bad start to the day, although uh, inventory numbers for the US showing uh, a reduction in inventories did help the uh, WTI contract recover quite strongly into the close of the day. All taken together, certainly no clear evidence yet that we really are going to have a repeat of the two big risk-off waves we've already had since last summer, but reason for concern. If you want to uh, gauge whether we really are heading in that direction, take a look at some of the indicators I've taken you through.